It has been claimed Nibiru, a mystical planet from the beyond the fringes of the solar system, is heading towards Earth. Shock prophecies about the end of the world claim on September 23, Nibiru will appear in the skies to fulfill the biblical book of Revelations. It has been claimed the monstrous planet ten times the size of Earth will cause widespread chaos and destruction on Earth. Will Nibiru crash into Earth on September 23 Despite the outlandish nature of the theories surrounding Nibiru, the idea that Planet X will smash into Earth is a misconception. On the Day of Reckoning, the planet will only pass Earth, but its mere presence will destroy the world as we know it in the months that follow according to some claims. According to the conspiracy blog Planet X, the 2017 arrival, Planet X's passage will be the greatest catastrophic inflection of life upon mankind since Noah's Ark. Nibir's immense gravitational waves will allegedly start the apocalypse by shifting the Earth's north and south poles to India and Brazil. And it has been claimed terrifying earthquakes will then shake the world, tsunamis will cover the lands and violent volcano eruptions will cause a fiery maelstrom of death and destruction. Ajitana Biru doom mongers are convinced Planet X will crash into Earth David Mead, the main purveyor of the Nibiru theory himself, has tried to clarify the wrongful assumption. The planet in question, Nibiru, doesn't exist, so there will be no collision NASA writing a ghast article for conspiracy website Planet X, the Christian numerologist explained nothing is expected to happen in September. It is possible at the end of October we may be about to enter into the seven-year tribulation period, to be followed by a millennium of peace. When Wormwood Revelation 8 is on close approach to Earth sometime during the tribulation, you'll have solar flares and a possible loss of the electrical grid for weeks, maybe longer. Friday, September 22, 2017 But if any of this actually happens depends on whether or not Nibiru appears in the skies on Saturday. Many of the world's leading scientists have debunked the theory, labeling it an elaborate internet hoax. The Nibiru claim has been around for several years now, flaring up every time a new theory about the world's end gains traction. Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, ridiculed the Planet X prophecy calling it fake. A Nibiru will not hit Earth, but actually pass next to it. It has been claim it told express.co.uk I don't know what to say, except that it's nonsense. Nibiru first emerged in online chat rooms in 1995, when conspiracy purveyor Nancy Leader exposed the world to Planet X on her website Zeta Talk. Then in 2003 the world was supposed to end with Planet X standing behind a major doomsday prophecy. Nothing of course happened that year. NASA explained this catastrophe was initially predicted for May 2003. But when nothing happened the doomsday date was moved forward to December 2012, and linked to the end of one of the cycles in the ancient Mayan calendar at the winter solstice in 2012. Nibiru is believed to be ten times the size of planet Earth American Space Agency has since vehemently denied Nibiru's existence. NASA said the planet in question, Nibiru, doesn't exist, so there will be no collision. The story of Nibiru has been around for years as has the Days of Darkness tale and is periodically recycled into new apocalyptic fables.